Okay, so today I wanted to talk a little bit about um, wind generators, their components, and what you should be looking for when you're picking out a generator, uh, a blade set, uh, whether they come in a kit or whether they're individual components. So, um, we've tried to do that in the past and there still seems to be a lot of confusion so I just want to go over a few things. So um, one of the most important things is that your wind generator needs to exceed the voltage of whatever it's charging whether it be 12, 24, 48 volt or you know whether it's putting voltage into a grid type uh, inverter. So you know, the exceeding the voltage, or what we call a cut-in point, is important because until you get to that point, you're not making any usable power. Um, secondly, after that, um, what you want to do is to be able to create as many amps as possible. So, with with amperage, there's a few things, and we, you know, that's kind of cuts to the core of why we take these generators apart and show you what's inside of them. But, you know, after you've got a generator and you've got a blade set, the torque that is applied to the generator is is you know torque may is power you know that's it, it takes that torque to drive the amps through the stator core to give you power so you know in the past we had showed you that you know this is a stator core out of a delco uh a 12 volt 10 si rebuild and you know we talked about you can see it's much smaller than what's in the freedom 2 and um, specifically when you put two of those stator cores together in a dual. But, you know, and this one's got a skewed stator core, much like the one over there that we got on the bench today in white. Um, you know, we've, we've taken that white, it's called our white lightning. We've taken that one apart before. But, you know, if you take ohm readings on this, and we've done this in past videos, but... This is a 24 volt stator core, and it has less resistance than this, which is a 12 volt stator core. So it uh, it takes less torque from you know apl being applied to the you know to the shaft of, of a generator that this has to make the amperage than than this would. And um, you know if you guys out there have made up your minds um, on different different aspects related to small wind power generation and it's been working good for you great keep on doing it and this comes with the understanding that um you know i, I recently heard a fact if you if if you've made up your mind on something that you know despite how much evidence that somebody can provide to you you know it takes something along the, the order of 13 facts before you're willing to even take a look at, at something else. So, you know, we've, we've demonstrated the uh, electronics. We're going to continue to demonstrate it. And, you know, what we, we've got a large area skewed stator core with this generator here. And, you know, it, it seems that there's a disconnect. You know, we got this little guy over here, and we we build those, and I think we build one of the you know the better. That's not the stator core that we use in our small uh, hurricane uh, generators, but you know, nonetheless, it it seems there's a disconnect because the you know people would believe that this guy back out back here would put out a lot of power. You know, they they seem to get that, and. But they, you know, and, and when this guy has, has got five blades on him, you know, and it's a 1500 watt or 1.4 kW generator, they seem to get that. But somehow 
they believe at 12 volts that you can somehow stuff 133 amps through this guy. And, you know, that's... I, I've been booed in the past, and you know, I guess I'll continue... We'll continue to go down that route. It won't do it. Can't do it. Never has. Um, so what we want to do is, if you... Most everybody, or, or, or vast majority of the people we talk to, start out with 12-volt systems because they're familiar with it. When you're with a 12-volt system and you're not using multi-powerpoint tracking technology, you you get what the you know you get 12 or 14 volts, and the rest of it's amps. So, you know. People may say, "Well, why, why do you why do you use this this drill?" And the reason I use this drill over here when I when I'm demonstrating is it, it's 0.75 horsepower. So I can take what I know the mechanical input on that is, relate it to torque, and it means something to me in terms of a blade size or a blade diameter that would be used in a wind turbine. So I can I can get an idea of how, well, how, how this will perform without going out and putting taking out and putting down 37 wind turbines and taking data for six months. I can, you know, just bench test it. What we've got here is um, we've got our white layman uh, heavy amp output, 12 volt. And I'll just say this quickly. Um, recently, <laughs> a fellow made a video of, of some sort of wind turbine challenge, and I offered to send a wind turbine in. And of course, that's not what they that's not what they depicted in the uh, in the video, but. He stated that he was getting 30 to 40 amps out of six of one of our competitors. And people have grown to accept that. People have grown, you know, it's, it's, it's okay to advertise something that's 1,600 watts and you can't get but six or seven out of it with six of them. And I just wanted to show you guys this today because this, you know, three-quarter horsepower input, um, Let's see what we could have got out of one of our white lightning. This is our heavy 12 volt. And, you know, just let me show you. you know, these, these solar RPMs. This is our cut in. But I'm going to get in this thing and bear down on it. And I'll pull it in. There you go, 650 watts. Can we make more than 40 amps at a hurricane? Let's go. Absolutely. So that's what one of our white lightning wind turbines would have done. So, you know, I'm I'm past arguing with people with the small wind power stuff. We do lots of other things. And this video is for our base. I, and when I say our base, I mean... You know, we've got our subscribers, they call in, they, they, thank you. they thank me for showing you the internal components and giving people realistic expectations. That's what we're here for, and until um, next time, Tony from Hurricane Wind Power out. Thanks.